Hey guys, Kings of Vending here. And someone really did try to get into my machine. Yeah, that was me the first time, but I'm gonna show you the damage that person really did. So I ended up calling the police and we did find the person, or we got, got the guy in camera, we didn't get to find him. But if you could see here, it looks like the one that tried to break in my machine was Iron Man. You see he's wearing an Iron Man mask. So we have him on camera, smart guy, can't see his face, but um, that's the guy. So this is one of the locks I use, and this is what the person did. They used a drill bit, a small drill bit, and tried to drill inside there. But you know what, it failed because the drill bit snapped. So, so what happened was the drill bit was stuck in there and I couldn't put my key in. And it was such a big headache. Now, if it was a regular tubular lock, maybe they would have broken into, but I got these uh, nice ones. I might make a review on that. And um, yeah, it was such a headache and I had to break it myself. I'm gonna show you what uh, the lock looks like now. So here it is. This is what they tried to do. It went in there, they tried to drill inside, it broke in half, and I couldn't get access to my machine. I had to break my lock. I had to, if you look here, it is, I, grind it, I had to grind it down. A lot of work. Um, these are high-end locks, and yeah, you can still break into it, but it's gonna take a lot of time, which happened to me, it's a lot of time. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace this, and I'm gonna put a new tubular lock in there. So here's the new handle. It cost me 50 bucks, $30 was the handle, $20 shipping. I'll add a link in the bottom if you guys are interested. So these are the tools that you're going to need uh, doing this job. You're going to need a three quarter socket, a 10 millimeter and a ratchet. Okay, let's get started. So when you open up your vending machine, you're going to see in the back of it where it connects to the handle as connected by a three quarter nut and two 10 millimeter nuts. Okay, so the first step, we're going to take out that three quarter uh, nut. And after that, we're gonna take out the, uh, the washers, the levers, and then that'll give us access to those two 10 millimeters. Uh, so my housing is okay, but because it came with a housing, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna replace it. I'm just gonna replace the whole thing and to take those houses is the two 10 millimeters. Okay, so just watch uh, as I do it. So here's everything when everything is disassembled. All right, so let's go assemble everything back.
Okay, so the last step we're going to do is install our tubular lock. And installing a tubular lock is very easy. So uh, first you have to put the key into the tubular lock. And then you put it inside and you're going to compress it. The key compresses it and then you're going to put it inside and you're going to push in the tab. Right there, you're, like, there's the key, and then you, I turned it, and you have to put the tab in, and it slides right in there. Now to take it off, it's easy. You put the key in there, it compresses it again, and it's easier if you have like a screwdriver and you just poke it through. So yeah, again, we're gonna put it in again, and we're about to uh, put it, put it inside our lock, our handle. All right, so there it is. So we're gonna install install it in our handle. And there you go. Well, there you guys go. It's all done. I hope you guys like this video. I mean, the vending machine business, it's a lot of upside, but there's also a lot of downside. Um, I'm here to tell it all, and I hope you guys like it and subscribe and, um, yeah, I'll try to put in more content for you guys.